Hi guys, now I've got some more equipment in for repairing and doing up radios. I thought I'd just show you what I've got. So, we've got a cheap Chinese signal generator here. This one doesn't quite go on frequency for CBs. As you can see, it's on channel 20 or as close to it as possible, 27.7912. So, not quite there yet. You'll have seen this in another video where I show how far I've got with the Unid and Uni Ace 100, though I'm going to have to go back over that at some point. So I think the receiver's not quite how I'd like it. So I'm going to do that again at some point just to get it a bit better. So have got over here a cheap Chinese frequency counter. And fortunately, to get the required resolution, you have to turn the gate time all the way to maximum. So it takes about 10 seconds to actually update, which is a bit annoying, but that's just how that works. So, got these from AliExpress and Banggood respectively. And I've also got down here this uh, small pocket oscilloscope. Now, I got that one from Amazon and it came as a kit which you had to assemble yourself. And it needs quite a beefy soldering iron. Fortunately, mine is beefy enough. And what I've done with that is I've put the, um, uh, the test leads from the oscilloscope across this speaker. So what I've done is I've connected this signal generator to, I'll just show you down here, the TTI TCB 550. This is a normal 550. It's not an N version. That one's also had its speaker removed. I've not put it back in. So if I go to the signal generator and just turn the signal back on. <coughs> Apologies for the noise. You can see the trace on the oscilloscope. And what you do with that is that's useful for setting the discriminator or detector, whatever you want to call it. So I'll just show you that again. It went out of focus. There we go. So, some more useful equipment. I've got a CRT oscilloscope, very old Philips one. But this is more than sufficient to do the, the job with the detector. So... Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm impressed with the signal generator, even though it's not quite there. And I'm also impressed with the frequency counter, even though to get the correct resolution, the correct amount of digits, it's a wee bit slow. So I can put the radios on frequency. I can, I can tune them up properly and I can make sure the detector's set right. So that's great. So that's some more useful equipment to have when you're repairing radios.